Uh, for those of you who were not here on Saturday, uh, we're just gonna go over basics from the guard, okay? Uh, Alto Limbo, are you? The whole thing with guard, full guard, is you should open the guard on your turn, okay? I like to typically take the lapels out, you know he's wearing a game this year, I'm sure you're so the whole thing is, is that you have to ask yourself a question, what sweeps do you know? What open guard do you know, really, which is gonna determine what sweeps do you know? How are you gonna get from the top? And what is your objective? Your objective is not to sit here and hold. Your objective is not to sit here and make it difficult for them to pass, which it kinda is, but you need to use all of these opportunities in order to be able to progress from this position or what submissions are you gonna go for from here, okay? One of the more basic things that we're going to go for is you, you, you always should open the guard on your turn. If it's not, if the guard is like the front entry door of your house. Either you're going to open it on your terms, or whoever opens it on their terms, you're going to have a big problem. Just ask that man right there, because whenever that door opens on their terms, whoever's inside's got a big problem, okay? So I'm going to open it on my terms, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to break his posture down. Because whenever you're dealing with somebody in your guard, they really need to have posture, okay, in order to pass your guard. If they don't have posture, one of the few things they can do is call like a San Paulo pass, but for that they would need to slide an underhook here, posture up, and then start walking that way and, and drive forward because it's a head down pass. Yes, like yeah, like that. He pushes the knee down, steps over, and kind of gets through. It, it looks something like that, okay. But, what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna wait for him, because you saw here, he opened it on his terms. What happened, I was late, like by three steps, okay? I'm gonna break his posture down, and my hand is gonna go, in this behind the head grip that we're gonna call the, the, the Travis Clark grip, and I'm gonna keep his head down. Because usually what happens here is that even though his hand's on my knee, he doesn't have enough leverage because his left arm elbow is at, at an angle where he can't really push it down, especially when my knees are going up in his armpits for more of a high guard. If my knees were down like this, doing nothing, then yeah, it'd be easy, yes, yes, exactly. So here, I'm gonna keep pulling his head. He's gonna wanna posture up, okay? So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna move my elbow, foot, hip right here, okay? And I'm gonna pull him into my foot, and he's gonna get back down on his knees, okay? And then from here, what I'm gonna do is my hand, and I'm gonna pull him down right here, okay? And here, I have him in a very good position here to be able to attack, and he's down in a turtle, which is really where I want him to be. So he had an even to sweep, but I didn't even need to struggle too hard. I got him in the turtle, which is really one of the places where I'd rather him be here because I'm set up to attack. Literally, from the moment that I make that grip, I'm thinking choke him this way, okay? So, what's gonna happen is, callers break their posture, hold the head. For this, collar grip here, if you grab it too much here, you don't have a control of the head. I want to be able to have a control of also kind of his head neck, okay? So I have push, pull. For guard, whether they're standing, whether they're on their knee, whether they're uh, in closed guard, push, pull, rotate. This is the way to disbalance your opponent in order to be able to get their weight to shift predominantly on one leg or the other because this is where sweeps develop. It's very difficult to sweep somebody when they have base, that's why it's called base, okay? So here I'm gonna pull and kind of twist his neck. He's gonna posture up, here, here. If he puts up this knee right here, okay? It's not gonna be good for him because you can just balance him like this. So typically what happens is they put the back knee up. Yes, this one, at least here, okay? So that as I come up here, he must put on the hip and he's gonna come back down on his knees because what we're doing is we're doing the, 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 the technique and not you trying to pass and shut down technique. Okay, so he's, he's a little nervous. He's got to start there, okay? Because here what happens is that I push him in his hip here and as I get up, okay, I want to push his head down. Okay? As from here, I'm able to now begin to attack and to capitalize on this position, which is for me better than a sweep. But sometimes it's not available. Because what he did was, he resisted stay postured up. So if you remember the concept of push, pull, rotate, okay? Got right about here. And he's got this slidey kind of hollow fell here. So it's good to even grab him here because you control the head. As he postures up, put elbow, 
good hip. From here, I can do two things here. I can pull here and I can also push. What happens oftentimes is, is that they want to posture up, okay? As I pull here, I notice he starts uh, posturing up. As he postures up, I can push him also. So you, you some guys are really strong. Most of the time, like what Webb is doing, they'll, they'll try to posture up on your knees and with your knees moving out, you drag them forward. But sometimes you just sit back and posture up. You guys are strong, okay? You have to do it strong. So, from here, one, two, three. It's kind of like you use this inside thumb wrist area to keep this posture down, and keep, keep the strap. When I come up, I go to elbow, I push him that way. So as he postures up, okay? So look, from here, one, two, three. Because when he, he makes the mistake of putting up the, the near leg, okay? And that's gonna get him sweat most every time. Because the second he puts that leg up, why am I gonna do something that's not applicable to this position here? So, okay? Because what happens here is that the second that he wants to posture up, put that leg up. Okay. Now from here, he's got a problem, okay? Because he doesn't have base at all. The question is how I exploit it, it's a different story. So I highly suggest, don't put this foot up, okay? Because you're gonna get out of position, let's say, okay? So as you posture up, that's better. Foot, hip, and pull him forward. If he really forces postures up, you can drive him back. And then you try to get that position. So now we're going to be pulling. Okay? Ready, guys? One, two, three. Okay. 